Is a Fiat 500 too small for you? Consider the 500X. Fiat loaned us one. It excels at city driving and with a two-level floor can carry your mountain bike. Okay. For 2017, they changed the option packages and that's about it. It still has design, accents, and basic connectivity, traction control flashers, and a nothing button. The 2.4 liter engine goes through a nine-speed transmission. The 500X competes in the B or compact SUV segment, which is growing as more and more car buyers move into it. But it's also picking up another competitor. The Hyundai Kona is late to the party. It'll keep you in your lane and break for you if it has to. Couple of engine choices, more for Europe. Plastic body cladding keeps brush at bay, and there will be an Iron Man edition. Comes out in Korea at the end of the month. We're next. Press hydrogen and then it has an air intake valve. Toyota Mirai is out in California, and we're not next. It's powered by turning hydrogen into electricity, which got it a sponsor role at the UN's inaugural World Ocean Festival. Human activity has put the ocean into uh, uh, deep problems. And so we have to find the solutions to those problems. And that's what this ocean conference is all about. In other news, Audi, the car, not a driver, got its automated driver's license for New York. And Chevrolet added 130 self-driving bolts to its testing fleets in San Francisco, Arizona, and Michigan. Which brings us back to the Fiat. 24 MPG combined, but you gotta drive it yourself.